Y'all already know it's story time Friday. You know the vibes. Go ahead and sit back and relax. Grab your snacks and tune in for this tea. Hey, don't get by none of that So y'all know before we get into the video, we got to do the small business promo. Today's promo goes to Glitz and Glam Lashes and Accessories. She sent in a handwritten. What's this? Oh, okay. So it says, hey T, I've been watching your YouTube channel for a long time. All of your crazy story times and your commentary brings me joy on a sad day. Aww. I've given you one of my most purchased lashes named Peachy. Also a disposable tweezer and spoolie. Also, I have featured... Um, I have featured a pearl clip. I really hope you like the items. Thank you so much. I want to say your name is Naya. I'm sorry, I can't. It's kind of like close together. I can't really read your signature. All business contact is um, on the business card. Okay, so this, okay, so these are the lashes. Pull it out. This is the box, that's cute. And these are the lashes. Oh, this smells good. This smell kind of, am I tripping? It smell good. They smell kind of peachy. Am I tripping? Can y'all see? So what comes in the bundle when you get it is, as you can see, the lash thing, the spoolie, and then there's a clip, like she said. The contact information is on here, which I will have in the description. Thank you so much to Glitz and Glam Lashes and Accessories for sending over your products. I couldn't read your name, but thank you so much. I appreciate it. So the next business promo goes to Brittany Loves Art. And uh, look at this. Look at this. So it says, hey T, aka T Kettle, aka T Pot, aka T T, all that. <laughs> it's me, yes, and the rumors are true. You are so dramatic. <laughs> it is Sean, also known as Indigo. Yes, yes, it is. Firstly, thank you for. Um, Okay, yeah, so firstly, thank you for being such an amazing person and sharing your stories and your vulnerabilities with us, more people than you know. You are a beautiful light that deserves to be highlighted at every chance and opportunities. I meant to say opportunities, but scratching out is tacky. Don't do me like that. You are so dramatic. <laughs> the world is yours and the universe will move mountains to make sure you and my niece pop are always good. I know that's right. Okay, now let's get it cracking like a bad. <laughs> Yo, I'm done with you. This is my friend um, business, Brittany Loves Art, that I help out with. She's helped me in many ways, and this is a way that I thought that I could help pay her back. Every bead art piece is unique and handcrafted, whether it is a keychain of your favorite food, character portrait, or a fallen loved one. But one by one, bead by bead, they all are crafted with love and positive energy. I know that's right. Getting a custom piece is as easy as a picture of what you want, reaching out on Instagram and having a deposit. There are many more spectacular examples that you'll scroll through on IG. So I will list their social media in the description, all of the social media. Is there on the back? Oh yeah. So proud of black women for creating their own way and own generational wealth. Thank you T for always spotlighting small businesses. We don't fight for the top, we, we help each other. So this is the business card just it has like a lot of pieces that she's done and this is the first item this is a bracelet for nye because she absolutely loves baby yoda this is the second this has her name on it. it's a bracelet with her name on it and this is another y'all this is the cutest keychain oh my god look at this with her bun her ponytail her earrings okay and this is another keychain. Y'all know I love anything Black Lives Matter, so this will definitely be on my keys. BLM. And if you go on her Instagram, they have so many, like, this is what she's made. Like, come on now. That, this is some talent. This is some talent. It's very creative. Never seen anything like it. Like, everybody's not doing this. Everybody don't have the patience to do this, so I really like this. Look, this is my favorite, Baby Yoda. Okay, thank you again to Brittany Loves Art. I appreciate all of this. I appreciate it. Where's the other one? I appreciate it. Thank you so much for sending your products. I will have everything about this company listed in the description. Y'all definitely go check out this company. It's amazing. Anything you want, they can make. So definitely go check them out. As y'all can see from the title, we back with another trifling story time, okay? So this story time might look familiar to some of y'all because I have recorded this before, but it got taken down. So I just decided to leave it down for a while, but I left the part two up, I don't know. 
Um, and y'all be watching it like, where's the first part? Where's the first part? It got taken down. So I don't have the first part. I mean, I can't put the first part up. So I decided to go ahead and retell the story. It is a lot to unpack. And if you did see the first story, you know that I had receipts for the first story. I had like text message receipts. Um, after that, after I posted that video, I pretty much deleted the receipts. So I still have that video, but I don't know. I don't know if I post this. I mean, it's just like, I, honestly, I don't feel like doing it. Like, I don't feel like going to the video screenshot and all the receipts. So, um, yeah, just, I'm sorry. I don't know. Also, if you've seen this video before and the, the first time I told it, I tried to keep it PG. I didn't want to play nobody because I was like, you know, what if Drew see this one day and I don't want him to feel no type of way. I literally, it's, listen, I'm, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm not going to make it r-rated and just try to blast him and play him and i would never do that but it happened so i did i tried to downplay a lot of the stuff in the first story time just like trying not to embarrass nobody but i'm still not trying to embarrass nobody so i'm not really gonna overshare the personal personal information um i don't feel like him cheating with his cousin was personal because as y'all gonna see in the stories how we gonna get there he was telling people so it's it can't be too personal you know before we do get into it though i need y'all to like this video for me it helps a lot it helps my videos get pushed out leave a like leave a comment y'all let me know y'all thoughts about this um i want to say if y'all went through something like this hopefully y'all didn't i hope that's not as common as it as I think, um, yeah. All right, I'ma really have to take y'all, like we gonna have to flash back in time for this one. Sit tight, go grab your snacks for real because it's it's a lot to un unpack and you gonna have to keep up, okay? Listen, so let's go back to when I was what, I had turned 17. This was the um, summer of me turning 17 and they were building a Popeyes near our like neighborhood. It, the Popeyes was like 10 minutes away or whatever. So me and alicia my best friend at the time um if y'all don't know about alicia i got a story time about us falling out i loaned her 200 dollars. she ain't pay it back you could go watch that video i'll leave it linked below so yeah um we both decided that we wanted a job and we might as well work together we we live in the same neighborhood so maybe we could ride to work every day and you know whatever so we go to the popeyes apply fast forward two interviews later we get the job and you know what's crazy it's crazy because i actually seen drew at the interview and I only noticed him because one he had on swim trucks and I was thinking like who comes to an interview in swim trunks like did you just come from the pool I know it's the summer and everything but listen I had on slacks and a button down I know it's Popeyes but this was my first job interview and I wanted to make a good impression so um and then number two he had like a fade and he had like this red rat tail in the back of his head if y'all know what that is like i'll try to find a picture but instead of a rat tail it's like the rat tail was cut and it was just like this puff and it was dyed red so i'm like what the hell who is that like you know whatever i seen him and i didn't think twice about it so it was two shifts at popeyes it was the morning and then like the evening afternoon whatever me and alicia we worked the closing shift that's what i'm called the closing shift so and that was like honestly that was the longest because that popeyes had just opened and we were trying to get the times down and everything like we would be up in there cleaning up till like one o'clock sometimes two o'clock in the morning because we was never timing stuff right so yeah fast forward we about two months into working and alicia calls me and she's like you know what i think i was actually at her house and so yeah she was like oh and girl this dude is always asking about you i think you want to talk to you and i'm like who and she was like girl my little work friend drew and i was like who is drew and where you get this work friend from because like we live in the same neighborhood so we go to work together every day we work the same shift the only time that we wasn't together is like if one of us was off like we was together so much that people was actually calling us the twins because not because we looked a lot or nothing but you know actually when you hang around somebody a lot y'all do tend to look alike but that's not the point um <laughs> it was because we was always together the double mid twins so yeah she ended up describing drew to me and um i'm still drawing blanks like i don't it's not ringing no bells i don't know nobody that looked like that so she was like when we go into work today i'm gonna point him out to you so fast forward we go to work and we get there about like 30 minutes early because we always got there early so we could you know chill eat or whatever and just chill up in the lobby before the shift so we get up in there early 
we get us a water cup we fill it up with sprite we pay for one small friday slide is three three small fries for the price of one you know they used to hook us up and we go sit down so she looking for him i guess he was like in the back um because sometimes that would make the dudes wash dishes and have like the females up front on the front registers and on the drive through register when he finally like come up to the front whatever throw something away go to the restroom who knows what he was doing she was like that's him that's him and i was like oh him y'all i'm slick disappointed because i'm thinking like who is this cute ass n that i ain't even see what she ain't say nothing about him being cute my brain just thought so i'm like girl why you didn't just say the dude with glasses in the rat puff the red rat puff because if she would have said the red little puff of hair in the back of his head i would have known exactly who she's talking about and i would have told her no absolutely not so she was like yeah girl you gonna talk to him and i'm like no I'm, i don't he not my type because y'all had a type back then lord if i tell y'all the type <laughs> She was like, why are you not going to talk to him? I think he want to talk to you. I think he's going to come up to you today. And I'm like, why would he come up to me? He ain't never came up to me before. Why would he think he could do that? So she was like, I texted him and I told him. And this, I'm like, girl, what did you tell him? She was like, I texted him and I was like, yeah, you should go up to her. You should talk to her. Why? Why? She was like, oh, I thought she was going to want to talk to him. How? How would you think that? Do you know me at all? You're supposed to be my best friend. Fast forward, it's almost time for us to clock in. We probably got like 10 more minutes. And then all of a sudden, I see Drew clocking out because you clock out on the, the front register, whatever. So I see him clocking out. He come over. He walking over. I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. So he come over. He speaks to Alicia like, hey, what's up, Alicia? Da, da. Well, no, 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 no. They was like, hey, best friend. What's up, best friend? Like, uh, when the hell did y'all become best friends and I didn't realize this? Because no. So yeah, he talking, whatever. She was like, hey, best friend, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And like clockwork, as she's talking, he's, she, Alicia is getting up and Drew is sitting down. And I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. Now I really feel set up. So Alicia was like, okay, I'm about to go clock in, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like... So he sit down. He tried to make small talk, the typical stuff that dudes say like hey my name is drew like i really think you're beautiful i've been watching you for a while can i have your number i just saying all kinds of stuff and i did not know what to say for real because for one i don't know i don't know i just didn't want to be mean like rigid like y'all honestly i didn't want to be mean and reject him but rejection is not mean it's better to just tell the truth tell that person that you're not interested and actually these these day and ages is is almost a not but at this age 17 i feel like dudes take rejection a little better they might call you to be word but whatever they're not gonna just off your top if you know what i mean so yeah i should have just really told him the truth this would have yeah this would have saved me a lot of stress but y'all against my better judgment i give him my number and i'm thinking like whatever it's a number if anything i could just not text back like what's the worst that could happen after i gave him my number like days are going by i'm playing him to the left because i'm not interested in him i'm not attracted to him so i'm barely texting back and it's, it's pretty much not going nowhere but we eventually did start texting you know how you get bored and whatever <laughs> basically i was texting him out of boredom so yeah when i started texting him i started realizing like he cool his personality cool he funny like hilarious and yeah i guess i kind of started liking his personality at the same time i really had a crush on another dude that we worked with and i had known that that person already and he was my type y'all <laughs> he was my type one shit though but yeah eventually i did kind of start liking drew whatever i remember he brought me like a rose was it a rose or some kind of flower to work and i thought that was so sweet this is why i thought like he was actually like a real gentleman i'm like oh his mama raised him right like he would open the door for me if i was walking out whatever i was just like yes you know okay and then um his grandma and his brother y'all let me tell y'all about his brother so he had somebody that he called his brother come to find out it was his uncle but he was like what 16 or something yeah he had to be in about like 16 at the time so i'm thinking it's just his little brother the whole time y'all nobody in this family tree was who they said that they, they were you know so it was really confusing so i'm gonna just call the brother uncle brother uncle no i'm gonna call the brother uncle bronco okay so i heard him over talking to his grandma and his bronco about me and um i don't know i just thought it was like I just kind of thought it was cute because it's, he seemed to really like me. Even though it had only been a few weeks, I'm like, dang, this boy really liked me. Fast forward about, I want to say a month, maybe three weeks to a month in, like into meeting him. We in a relationship. 
Oh, y'all don't know how we got into this relationship that quick. I feel like that was quick. But all I remember is when he asked me to be his girlfriend, the I love you started immediately. Immediately. It was like he couldn't wait to start saying that he loved me. And he was just like, looking back, it was love bombing because there is no way that you love me. You, I don't even think you know my middle name at this point. Because like for the first two weeks, we was barely talking, you know, like y'all he was saying i love you so much to the point where i had to actually tell him like listen i'm not gonna say it back if i don't feel that way and he was like yeah i understand like i i'm a way for you and i know that you're gonna love me one day like i'm gonna make you fall in love with me and all kinds of stuff and i'm just like mm -hmm. good luck with that buddy so y'all <laughs> He knew what the hell he was doing. He knew them little manipulative tricks. So yeah, I wasn't saying it back at first. Like I stuck beside it because I, I honestly didn't feel it, but I would hear it so much. Like I'm thinking like, dang, this dude really, really likes me. Like, dang, do I love him back? Do I like him this much back? So honestly, I said it back the first time I said it back because I didn't like, I don't know. I felt like, I don't know how to explain it. I didn't want to hurt his feelings, I guess. So I was like, you know what? I guess I'll just say it back. Absolutely not. Don't ever do that. If somebody is love bombing you and you know that they cannot possibly be that much in love with you because either you just met them or they don't know nothing about you, don't do it. Don't say something just to appease somebody else's feelings. Don't ever do that, especially if you do not feel it because you will trick yourself into thinking that you actually feel this way. And I know I didn't. <laughs> I know I didn't. So yeah, the first time I said it back, he said it. We was on the phone. We was getting off the phone, I think. And he said it. And I was like, I love you too. And he was like, what? Tati, stop playing. Stop playing. Did you just say you love me? You just made my life. Time to make you my wife. It's uh, like, I love you so much. We're going to get married. We're going to have a son. Blah, blah, this, da, da, da. And I was like, what the f did I just do? I shouldn't have did that. I, sh I shouldn't have did that. He's just gassing the situation and immediately like, I don't know, probably like a few days after the first I love you, he was just like, Oh, I'm going to be your first. I'm going to take your virginity. I'm so proud of you for still being a virgin. All kinds of weird stuff that didn't send off the red flags in my head when I was 17. Because why are you as like a 19 about to be 20 year old? proud of me for still being a virgin you know i don't know i don't know yeah i thought i was just like so grown and mature because i'm dating somebody that's like to be 20 and it's like um it's like little it's like a little over a month now and you know we start being lovey-dovey at work we start both like i start coming in early and he start leaving late from um work you know if he got off at three. He would tell his ride to come at four or whatever. You know, we I started coming real, real early to spend time with him because outside of work, this was like a work relationship. We never saw each other outside of work, like at all. It was mostly at work or talking and texting on the phone. That's it. So yeah, everything going cool at first. We honestly, y'all remember back in the day when you used to three-way call with your man on the phone? Like I, that happened a lot. Like either I was doing it or my friends was doing it. Like calling me when they on the phone with that man. Like girl, why do I need to be on the phone? <laughs> It was weird, but anyway, her and Drew, Alicia and Drew were best friends, so whatever. Um, I would call Drew when me and Alicia was on the phone, and she'd be like, hey, best friend, best friend, best friend. And I'm like, when the hell did y'all get so close? So anyway, fast forward, I come into work one day, and I see a customer. And mind you, this customer is somebody that used to always try to talk to me, even before Drew. So I see him getting a Popeye's uniform, which means he just got hired to work at Popeye's. We gonna call him, I called him Herbert before, and this is literally like what I used to call him because I hated his real name. His his real name just was like, it seemed like pervy to me. So I'm gonna call him Herbert. Herbert was Drew friend before Drew started working at Popeye's. How Herbert didn't know that I was with Drew now because every time, Herbert would come in like every other day. It's the summertime, they don't got nothing to do. They would come in, get a water cup, fill it up with Sprite, go on about their business, order some fries, you know, flirt with the girls that's there because everybody is teenagers. I'm thinking Herbert is a teenager too at this point. So I don't know how Herbert didn't know that I was with Drew. That was kind of weird that he was still trying to actively talk to me because the day that he got his uniform, he was trying to talk to me too. And I was like, no, I got a man. You know, you know, I got a man. He wasn't no man. He wasn't no man. Fast forward, Herbert started working there. He worked a shift with Drew. 
um, I'm coming in one day, me and Alicia coming in at the same time, Herbert and Drew is working and Drew like come up to me, he talking to me like, bae, I love you and this, this and that, like just overly love bombing me. And I'm like, hey, Drew, whatever, you know, whatever. Like, I didn't like saying I love you <laughs> to him in public because for one, I knew I didn't mean it. And for two, it's, it, he just did it too much. It was like, I love you, I love you, I love you, like, dang. I guess when Herbert saw our interactions, he realized, I don't know. I don't know when Herbert realized because Drew could have told him. I'm not sure. But it was made clear that I was with Drew. So that's when Herbert started trying to talk to Alicia. The first time I told this story, I believe I said Herbert and Drew was 19. But only Drew was 19. Herbert was 21. And he had a son. So when he started trying to get with Alicia, Alicia was like, mm, it's a no for me. You know, because we 17. We don't want to deal with a 21-year-old with a baby mom, a child. And, you know, we just... 17 year olds I feel like not interested in that at least we weren't over the next few weeks like all of us are becoming real cool Herbert and Drew they worked the first shift so they would get off first and they would come back at nighttime you know get some food chill with us on our lunch break we would all be talking we would all talk on four-way calls like we all was real real cool mind you herbert is from louisiana like he's from new orleans i don't know why like i just kind of want y'all to keep that in the back head because every time i hear or like remember him saying something i hear it like in his voice in his accent so if that matter then whatever he's from new orleans anyway there was a time that drew phone had broke so the only time i would talk to drew is if he was is when he was at home or when he was with herbert he would call me when he was at home off his brother uncle phone his bronco phone and then um if he wasn't at home he would use like herbert phone or like anybody else phone so that is essentially how herbert got my phone number right so we would be doing um the four-way calls but now drew phone is broke so it kind of went to three-way calls with alicia me and herbert and um, Herbert, he was really like, I don't know if he was acting, but he really seemed to like Alicia. And you know, the, the three way calls kind of turned into just like one on one calls. Like, um, Alicia would be like, Yeah, I'm on the phone with Herbert, I'll call you back, or Herbert will call me. So when Herbert would call me, he would talk about Alicia, I would talk about Drew, and it was like real surface level. This, y'all, mind you, I'm 17. This is be before I knew how dudes really were. They will really pretend to be your friend to gain that trust. To manipulate your brain they really will so yeah we started having phone calls and he'd be like yeah i'd be like so you like alicia he'd be like yeah you know i really like her whatever sometimes though she just be so loud i'd be like damn i wish this girl would shut the hell up and blah 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 so i noticed he would start like kind of just saying slick shit about people like and he would go on and on about it it's not just like he would make one comment he would just like slick go in on that person and he would do that with drew too when we would have our three-way calls me me him and alicia now that drew phone broke he kind of want to throw slick shade and i'm like wait hold up now you ain't never finna talk about my people you know i'd be like wait just chill like you know that's my friend or that's my nigga blah 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 taking up for them as i should i thought y'all he started saying stuff like, yeah, you know, Drew, he be on that little boy shit. Sometimes I can't be around him for too long. Like, I'm a grown man. You know what I'm saying? I got my shit together. I got a child. I'm handling my business, my business. Like, what's up with dudes in their business? Because that's not the only time I heard that. I think that was like one of the first time I heard that. But like, he was, um, what the heck was that? Smoke? He was a, a trapper. I'm, he was a trapper. He was the local tree man. So, yeah, local tree men always feel like they handling their business, business, business. Sir, you still working at Popeye's for $7.25 just like the rest of us, okay? So, you can't be handling that much business. <laughs> Sell a tree. What? Calm down. Anyway, so, yeah. I noticed when I would take up for Drew, Herbert would feel some type of way. Because one time he was like, Man, you think that nigga the best thing since sliced bread, huh? Man, that nigga really lame. He really be on that little boy shit. And I was just like, that was like my first red flag into, oh, Herbert fake. So I decided, listen, I'm not going to pick up for all these three-way calls, four-way calls no more. I decided to kind of distance myself from Herbert because mm -mm, I ain't like that. And honestly, I started dropping hints to Drew. But as time went on, I kind of seen that their relationship wasn't given like what what they seemed like what they made it seem like when they was together when they was together it was like yeah this is my bro this is my bro oh my god drew overused bro bro this is my bro 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 y'all when i'm talking about drew and everything that he say just add bro to the end because he overused bro 
So um, literally, y'all, he would be like, hey, Tati, bro. Like before he started calling me bae. I was just, oh God. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> literally, please stop. Fast forward. I really think that this relationship lasted so long because we barely ever saw each other outside of work. And then when Drew got fired around the four month mark, because we about to fast forward to like us being together for like four months. When he got fired, we now we have to like try to make plans to see each other because we can't, I can't just go to work and see you no more. You know what I'm saying? And he can't drive all the way from where he lived just to come to this Popeye's and chill. You know, it, it just wouldn't make sense. So yeah, on the rare occasion that he found a ride, he would try to see me, but shit like this would happen like this. Like what I'm about to tell y'all. One day Drew hit me up and he was like, I want to come over. Like I'm trying to see you, whatever. So my own was gone. I was like, cool, whatever. You know, we had cameras on the inside and outside of our house. But if you see my other story time about me sneaking in, like my one of my first like little kid boyfriends landing, I will cut them cameras off with the quickness. Okay, cut them cameras clean off. So that's what I, I had planned to do. So Drew texts me like, I'm on the way, basically. It's about an hour later. He was like, I'm on the way. And so I'm like, okay, cool. I'm thinking everything going to plan. So I didn't know where he texts me. He was like, you won't believe what's happening to me. And I'm like, what? And he was like, bro, I'm getting pulled over for possession and this, this, and that. And I'm like, why did the police officer pull you over anyway? And he was like, because I didn't have a seatbelt on and I was high as fuck and I looked high as fuck. And I was like dumb like i just call him a dumbass or something so drew going on and on and he was like the police officer is like i had an attitude and i need to fix my attitude i started laughing in his face and i was like you ain't gonna do shit you ain't gonna do shit no you didn't like no like no you didn't no you didn't like what how did i believe this did i did i mention he was a pathological liar yeah he's a pathological liar okay yeah just had to throw that in there because y'all finna be confused if I don't throw that in there because I was I was confused at first like what you I was like why is he cussing out a police officer that's unnecessary he didn't do it oh god he was going on and on about how the police officer got him fucked up and he'll knock his little ass out because the police officer was little as fuck and all this stuff mind you Drew was like a buck 40 buck 45 boy you are little yourself you are skinny as hell you ain't gonna knock nothing out and before you can even swing on that officer you will be on the ground eating pavement and handcuffs <sighs> i'm telling him just to stop like stop being disrespectful just relax and he was like man f that police officer f him he got me effed up and he trying to play me and all this stuff and i'm like shut up nobody is trying to play you y'all me not even realizing back then because like i said i had never been detained or anything by an officer pulled over when you're being detained pulled over and talking to the police i don't even think you can be actively texting like that while you're talking to the officer like can you be actively on your phone we was texting consistently back to back for an hour all of a sudden the messages just stop they stop he stopped texting me he stopped responding an hour later he finally says he letting us go now so you telling me this officer had you detained for two hours and he didn't arrest you? He didn't take you to jail or nothing? He just let you go on about your merry way when you smell like a pound of weed, according to you, and then you didn't have a seatbelt on? And I knew that was some bullshit. So he, when he texted me that, I was like, I don't care. Drew started blowing my phone up. I don't answer because you're weird. That's weird. Why go to these lengths to lie when you could have just been like, listen, I can't come right now. I don't want to come today. I don't have a ride right now anything you could have said anything else besides this long two hour getting held by the police on the side of the road like it makes no sense y'all i'm telling you he did this kind of stuff all the time i believe i said this in another story time when he texted me listen his brother uncle would he would pretend to be his brother uncle texting me from his phone right so one time i get a text message and i and his brother texts me and he was like oh my god you won't believe drew got um he got jumped. He just got jumped. Like me, it wasn't uncommon for his brother to text me. But now that I think about it, I don't know when I was actually texting his brother or texting Drew because usually the times I felt like I was really texting his brother, it was from his brother's phone number. I feel like Drew was pretending to be his brother uncle a lot. His bronco. I forgot I was calling him bronco. Yeah, it was so, it was so weird. Drew really just had too much time on his hands, honestly. So yeah, um, and this is at the time when I was actually cool with his little bronco. He was, he just was too childish for me. If I could compare him to anybody, I don't know what he act like to this day, but I could see him growing up to be 
just like Devonte. If you know, you know the girls that get it, get it. You know who Devonte is. That's who I. That's who I figured that he grew up to be like. And if you're on a membership, I told you why. Like I gave you an example why. At this time, I was actually cool with the Bronco. So he like, yeah, Drew just got jumped. He he's in jail now, and this, this, and that. And I'm like, how long ago did this happen? And he was like, I don't know, but he's booked into jail. I know he got booked in. Like telling me as if I'm supposed to be like, okay, what's how much is his bail? No. So I just stopped texting. Okay, we ain't got nothing to talk about. He in jail. He could we could talk when he come out of jail. Okay. So listen. Um, one hour later, Drew texts me like, hey babe, like nothing happened. You would think if you just got out of jail, you would call me and be like, babe, you won't believe this shit. I just got it. No, he texts me, hey babe. It don't work like that. Never, it will never work like that. Let me let me continue. So me actually have bailed people out of jail multiple times. I know that you don't get bailed out within the hour at all, ever. So I'm like, I thought you was in jail. What happened? Like, how, when did you get out? And he was like, man, I told that officer I ain't do nothing. They can't hold me. They can't hold me. That's, that's not how it works, sir. When you get booked into jail, that's not how it works. You're a liar. And it's like, y'all, I almost, no, not even almost. I never wanted to say nothing. Like, he really thought I was stupid. So, a lot of the times, I just played stupid just to save him the embarrassment. Because if I would have been like, bruh, and you know what? Back then, I did know that's how that didn't work. Because somebody close to me had been to jail. I mean, they had been to jail multiple times. So, I knew. I, just, I don't know why I didn't blast him. I really don't. I was really just trying to spell him because he really thought I was stupid. Fast forward now, knowing everything that I know. I mean, it honestly, all hell didn't break loose until after he took my virginity. But still, knowing like the weird little things that he did, I still let this fool take my virginity. Why? Why? I'm not going to get into the uh, virginity story. That's actually a story of his own if I decide to tell it. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's, that story is just so embarrassing. I don't even know. I don't know. <laughs> let me know. Y'all let me know and I'll decide. Um, but yeah, that's a story of his own. Anyway, after he took my virginity, y'all, I guess he thought like, oh, I can show my true colors now because this fool loved me now. She loved me now. So now I can show my ass, y'all. When I tell you I started noticing more things that I had never even realized before, I don't know if that just opened my eyes or he just really just started showing his ass. I can't tell. Out of nowhere, and I mean the clear blue sky, I'm telling you he pulled this from his booty hole he started having to go to basketball camp. Nah, let me make this clear. Drew was not in school. Drew didn't even hoop at the YMCA. Why you gotta go to basketball camp? What is this camp for? Every time I would ask questions about this camp, he ain't never have the answers. So going to basketball camp was weekly. Basically, I would just like text him one day and his bronco, his bronco would be like, oh, Drew not here. He in basketball camp. I'm like, okay, why didn't he take his phone? His coach said he couldn't take his phone. He had to leave it in the dresser. He leave his phone in the dresser. So how are you texting me if his phone is just sitting quietly in the dresser, not disturbing nobody? How do you know to text me right back? Are you waiting by the dresser to, to tell everybody that hit his phone up? Like, oh, Drew's at basketball camp. No, you liar. <laughs> y'all these are the lies i had to deal with because what camp where did the camp come from and why you wasn't going for four months four or five months when it was drew bronco quote unquote texting me off of his phone i honestly think it was drew every single time every single time i know it's confusing i hope it's not confusing i'm so sorry if it, if it is because it literally it's, it just really don't make sense for real Anyway, fast forward, yeah, took my virginity, whatever. Now it's around Christmas time. He start even, he start acting even funnier, even funnier. I find like, I, I look up one day and I'm just like, what, what is going on here? Cause I find myself pressing him like, are you gonna call me? When are you gonna call me? I'm texting him, are you gonna call now? Hurry up and call me type shit I was not doing before. Y'all, that's what happened. That's why you don't give your body to any and everyone because you be having these like unnecessary attachments that, that confuse you you know what i'm saying like you don't even like that person for real you just feel like you like them because y'all been intimate or something like some people are actually like that they get attached because of the intimacy like everybody can't have just like one night stands and stuff like that drew not answering he barely texting back he just acting real funny style and i'm like 
what what is going on what has changed so y'all i remember on this one specific day i'm just like doing that to him I'm like are you gonna call me when are you gonna call me like hurry up and call me this boy literally spell out Ugh, i'm gonna call you hold on i'm doing something like he literally u g h h h i'm gonna call you bro hold on dang da 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 any other time is bad now i'm bro all right I don't at this point I don't even know what's going on I know that he was spending the holidays with his cousin and stuff his cousins and his people and he over there he's talking about he's trying to book flights because they trying to go back to Cali and and all this kind of stuff so I'm like I'm not thinking he acted funny because he around family because that's family you know what I'm saying the whole Christmas he act funny I, I tell him Merry Christmas I think that fool tell me Merry Christmas at 11 59 when it's gonna be the day after Christmas like, I didn't talk to him the whole day. I don't think he even told me Happy New Year. Like, it was, it just got real funny style, you know? So, um, we're gonna, we're gonna start fast forwarding because after that, he tried to smooth over it, apologize. Like, yeah, I was just stressed out. I was having family problems and blah, 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 this, this, and that. All kinds of stuff. He was just probably lying, most likely. I never went back to fact check nothing. So, he's probably lying. But he reeled me back in with the lies. Even though he reeled me back in, things were still pretty rocky. Like, you could tell. I feel like you can tell when a relationship is coming to an end. So, the fact that people, like, linger it out, because I've done this. Um, I lingered this out for months. And I really felt like we lasted so long. Because, like I said, we barely ever saw each other. Fast forward. Things got rocky, right? And guess who pops back up? He pops back up first getting in contact with Alicia. So Herbert come back around. He start calling Alicia or texting Alicia, then it turns into phone calls. And then it it he wiggled his way back into the three-way calls. I don't know who decided to call me one day, but all of a sudden I answer and I'm on the phone with Alicia and Herbert. So yeah, that day we on the phone talking, just really talking about nothing. Herbert flirting with Alicia the whole time, talking about he missed her, we ain't gonna be my baby and all this. And y'all, we would be on the phone for hours, y'all. We was, teen honestly, I don't know what Herbert had on how and how he could be on the phone for hours, but yeah, because he was grown man handling his business. But <laughs> we was teenagers, so we ain't really was doing much all the time. So yeah, fast forward, Alicia hang up. And now it's just me and Herbert on the phone. When I tell you Herbert wastes no time going in on Drew, just going in on him and me, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, what do he know? Because Herbert would talk in circles, but I knew he knew some tea because he would always try to like hint to me and tell me stuff. But I wasn't ready to hear it back then. I wasn't trying to hear it because I'm like, nah, Drew is like a gentleman. Like he does this and he opens my car door when I do see him and he opens the door and... He bought me a flower. Child, please. We on the phone. He just talking, saying stuff like, man, if you knew what I knew, you wouldn't be so in love with that nigga. You wouldn't be so in love with that man. And he's just going on and on. And I'm like, wait, hold on. Hold on. What What does that mean? We not finna just speed past that. Like, you ain't just say that because you kind of try to change the subject. No, let's back it up. Back it up and make it clear. So, yeah, basically, I'm like, what you mean? And he was like, and you'll find that you'll see, you'll see one day. It's gonna, he gonna show, he gonna show you. And this, this, and that. And I'm like, no, stop playing these games with me. Tell me. So, I'm like, Herbert, tell me what you know. Or I swear to God, like, I'm not finna be cool with you. Like, we not finna talk. Like, I'm sick of you doing this shit. Like, I'm going in on him because he always would do this kind of stuff. Quit playing all these mind games. It kind of ends up turning into a situation where, like, we kind of playing on each other. Like, we kind of trying to, like, manipulate each other almost. Because I'm playing on the fact that he think that he could ever possibly have a chance with me, which, no, sir. You, you honestly, he's in a whole nother age range. You have real responsibilities. And then you the true man. I was, no, I just didn't. And I didn't even smoke at that point. So I was like, no. He playing on the fact that he got this like basically bomb over my head. Like he's basically holding something over my head. So he knows that I'm going to keep talking to him and trying to get information out of him. And then when he finally tells me, it's like, he thinks I'm a dumb Drew and probably get with him or something like that, which no, absolutely not. So we both just really trying to manipulate each other like, it was y'all it was a it was a weird situation looking back but in the moment i'm just like i gotta do what i gotta do to know what i need to know you know <laughs> what he like you sure you want to know well, i don't think you want to know man you, this ain't something that you just really want to know man you just man da -da -da this. and i'm like bruh just tell me can you, can you tell me like are you going to tell me like please tell me i just want to know like what is it what is it how bad is it like you know he, oh god he just, I really just felt like he must have liked the attention or something. I don't know. But finally, Herbert is like, man, you think this nigga love you, don't you? You think he love you? And I'm like, what? what? 
What do you mean? Like that man got more secrets than I could count. He keeping a lot from you. You don't even really know him for real. I know you don't know him for real. Okay. Like keep going, keep going. So he like, for one, he been cheating on you. And I'm like, uh, what? I honestly, I didn't see that coming. I really didn't. Like, I don't know what I was thinking he was about to tell me, but honestly, that could, that's only, that's the only like explanation for how he'd been acting. You know what I mean? And it's not like far fetched for, um, what I call Herbert to know that because, like I said, Drew and Herbert were close. They were, they were frenemies, but they were still close. And Drew would tell him stuff. And they had, they were best friends or whatever, bros, whatever dudes call each other. But when you really knock back the layers, they're they're not they're not actually friends. This the kicker right here. This the kicker. So Herbert going on and on, and he's just like, man, yeah, he told me the day, the same day he took your virginity. He told me every little detail. He told me how you sucked his dick, and he it all over your face. What? Everything Herbert just managed to keep telling me kept blowing my mind. It kept blowing my mind. Y'all, I probably y'all <laughs> when I tell that story, I told that on a live on a membership, but when I tell that story, y'all gonna be like, really? So I'm like, I didn't suck his dick and he didn't know my like at that point I had never did that before. So I was like, why is he making this up? I'm like, I'm mad. I'm actually mad. I'm feeling every emotion. So I'm like, that's a lie. That's a lie. And Herbert is like, I'm just telling you what he told me, mama. I'm just telling you. I'm just letting you know. And I was like, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about Drew. Like, why is he lying? Like, I'm I'm feeling mad, embarrassed because why, you really going around lying at your big age? So I'm just, I'm mad. I'm just saying shit like, I can't believe this nigga going around lying. He really going around telling his raggedy ass friends this and that and lying to them. And y'all, Herbert not even realizing that I just call him raggedy. He like, hey, yo, I told, man, I told you, I told you that he a little boy. He just be lying. He like to hear himself talk on some little kid shit. And, and he cheating on you too. He cheating. Like in, trying to instigate to the max. Like, all right, I dropped one bomb. Let me go ahead and drop this other one right on top of her. Knock her ass out. You know, that's how I felt. <laughs> so I was like, with who? Like, who, who is he cheating with? Who? It's like pulling teeth. Because here, here Herbert go beating around the bush. Man, yeah, see, that's the part. That's the part I don't even think you want to know. I don't even think you want to know that. Are you sure you want to know? Didn't I ask? Didn't I ask? At this point, ooh. You know how when somebody playing with you and you just want to be like, motherfucker, just tell me. But they'll probably be like, well, all right, see, no, I ain't telling you now. So you got to keep your cool just to get the information out of them. Ooh, I hate that. And now if you want to beat around the bush, I don't, I'm not supposed to know. Like, or I'm supposed to find out a different way because I'm not going to beg you. At that point, I was begging him for the information and he loved every second of it. I don't know how long later he was like, See, so you know how Drew always at his cousin house, right? Nine times out of 10, he over there for, let's give her a name, Sakura. He over there for Sakura. And I'm like, why? What? Y'all, the math was nowhere near mapping at this point. I feel like I say that too much. It wasn't adding up. Yeah, that's a little better. He was like, he over there for Sakura. And I'm like, okay. Y'all know that, emo that, uh, that meme with the dude and he like, with the question marks, that's me. That's my face. I don't understand. I don't understand. Herbert is like, all right, man, listen, just listen. One time I pulled up on Drew. We drinking and we smoking. Because they was about to go to like a party or something. So I guess they was pre-gaming. This fool tell me. Because I'm trying not to say the N-word so much, but he said the N-word. He tell me that he was over there at the Coronem house where she be at. And he's just in the bathroom, randomly in the bathroom. As he leaving, opening the door. Y'all, it this shit sounds so fake, like a movie. As he opening the door, Sakura about to come in the restroom, but she end up grabbing his balls and kissing his neck. And he was he was high as hell, so he didn't know what was happening. But when he realized one thing led to another, he picked her up, put her on the counter, and put her on the counter. Then he said he had her bent over the counter and yeah, y'all know. This whole time I'm listening to this story and I'm just like boom, 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 boom. Like, no, ain't no way, ain't no way, no, no. Y'all, I'm just listening in silence 
and I don't what what do you say to that? Herbert going on and on and he was like I told that nigga nigga that's your cousin. That's your cousin. Nah, nah, tell me you lying. Tell me you lying. He said Drew told him Man, nigga, that's my first cousin. She ain't family for real. I think he confused first cousin and play cousin. I think he confused them. I'm still in shock because A, you cheated on me and now I'm finding out it's about your cousin. I done got KO'd. I'm knocked out. My brain cannot comprehend. It cannot compute. Herbert, he couldn't wait to spill the tea. Even though it took him a while, when he started spilling, <laughs> tea cup runneth over, bitch. <laughs> So yeah, Herbert is like, he telling me that it, it happened about three times and all kinds of stuff Herbert was saying. I can't remember word for word, but I I remember the stuff that really hurt me, you know? Ugh. He telling me that he asked about me, like, what are the chances that you're going to be thinking about? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Supposedly, he asked Drew about me, like, um, oh, so you're not with Tatiana no more? And he was like, man, that's a childish relationship. She can't even take dick for real. All kinds of stuff. And that right there, when Herbert was telling me that, I knew that he was telling the truth. Like, I, that just, that sealed it for me because he was telling me things that Drew would joke about to me. Like, Drew would say stuff in a joking way, like, babe, you know you can't take me for real. You be doing this and you be doing that. And um, I was a virgin, first of all. And then he would be like, um, uh, the weirdest thing, Drew was like obsessed with my virginity and I didn't even realize until after he was like um i'm so proud that you a virgin i be telling everybody like i be telling everybody that's really a flex and blah 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 saying stuff like that and i'm just like okay like what the fuck do you want me to say today i don't know it was it was so weird y'all when i tell you i'm sitting on the phone with herbert i don't really have much to say like i'm silently crying tears are falling down my eyes but i'm not like <laughs> you know like it just tears is coming down my eyes because i'm feeling every emotion i'm feeling like embarrassed sad angry hurt betrayed i'm feeling everything so i asked herbert i'm like okay but when did when did he tell you that this happened and herbert said a month ago so i'm like okay so when did it actually happen and herbert was like that he told me two days after it happened i'm shook because i had seen him during that time frame but it's not like we got intimate or nothing because we didn't one we didn't have a place for real to do that and i'm glad that we didn't that was ugh, that happened for a reason anyway we spent all day at the mall and stuff and he actually tried to do it in a car that wasn't his excuse me what no i'm not doing it in a car that's not yours long story short i'm just i'm shook um oh my god i don't know so basically i don't want to talk no more we don't have nothing else to talk about so i'm like all right i'm gonna call you back before i get off the phone herbert was like are, are you okay like i just felt like you needed to know if you really felt like i needed to know you would have told me a month ago whether we was talking or not because you you seem to come back around wiggle your way back around in my friend group why you didn't do that a month ago if you really felt like i needed to know you know i know you're upset and i know you're angry you're beautiful and any guy would be lucky to have you and every guy is not like that they won't treat you like that that's really disgusting and i i, I don't know what he was thinking about even telling people he should be embarrassed just like not helping you think in your brain you probably think that you're helping but you're not helping <laughs> you just don't rock my little world you're not helping but yeah he's just like any guy would be lucky to have you you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying just saying the same thing and i'm like mm-hmm mm -hmm. all right mm -hmm. i'm gonna call you back i'm gonna I'm i gotta go i gotta call you back like where's this going nowhere okay bye immediately when we hang up i'll call drew you already know i called drew drew don't answer because drew been acting funny style right so i call him i text him he don't respond actually he respond like an hour later and he was like i'm gonna hit you back i'm at my cousin house and whatever so i didn't even say nothing i just block him mind you i got an android at this time so on androids back then you could block somebody and still get their phone calls and still get their text messages so um he ended up like calling me and texting me hours later it's probably like later on that night um i'm at first i'm sticking to my guns like nope it's blocked it's done i'm gonna just act like you never existed right no no it's like i couldn't sit on that information i needed to confront him so i unblock him i don't even know a few seconds later one of his calls come through and i don't answer that call he call again and i finally answer <sighs> I answered this phone. This dude got the nerve and arda audacity, <laughs> nerve and audacity trying to check me. So he come into this conversation like he got the upper hand. Like, what's wrong with you, bro? Why are you blocking me, bro? Why are you why are you blocking me? 
why are you blocking me so i ignore everything that he's saying because you're trying to deflect i don't know what you're trying to do here but i just ask him straight up so you cheated on me instantly he like man what what are you talking about i don't know what you're talking about what bro bro who is telling you this bro i promise you a guilty conscience was would tell on itself they gonna tell on itself so he was like bro who, who told you that that nigga herbert told you that herbert told you that why are you talking to him like i didn't say i promise you i swear i did not say nothing about herbert you just told on yourself you literally just told on yourself and you don't even realize because you so you so shook up that i know you can you ain't even have time to think and i like that i like confronting when you ain't got time to think so I'm like, Herbert, wh where did you get Herbert from? And he was like, bro, quit playing, bro. Herbert is always trying to break us up. You know that. You know Herbert been trying to break us up since we got together. So I ask again, did you cheat on me? And he was like, man, come, man. I hang up in his face. All I need is one man. All I need is one man. I'm hanging up. You, you're done. You confirmed it. So I hang up, he start blowing my phone up. He start blowing my phone up right then and there. I should have blocked him, but I go ahead and answer because it's like he calling back to back to back to back. And I was kind of scared that he was going to call my house phone. And it's like late at night. And I did not want him to call my house phone because he dumb enough to do it. Just like he was dumb enough to knock on my door at um 11 PM. If you're on the membership, then you know. So yeah, I'm like, let me go ahead and answer because if he called my house phone and um, my aunt get up and start yelling at me, oh. It, it, I'm, I'm going to be livid. So I'm like, just let me answer, right? I answered the phone. He crying like, man, Tati, please. I'm sorry. I messed up. And I was like, no, you cheated with Sequoia. Koya, Sequora, whatever I call her. You cheated with Sequora. And he was like, man, I know I messed up. I messed up. Blah, blah, blah. Crying. I don't even know if he was really crying or if he was just like sniffling or something. I don't, I don't know. Is he really trying to just slide past the fact that Sequora is his first cousin? So I'm like, is it Sequora in your family? Like, I didn't know how to word it. So I'm just like, is it Sequora related to you in your family and stuff? And he was like, man, Sequora is not my cousin for real. She is the first cousin. And this is like, what is he telling you? What, why was you even talking to him? I'm trying to flip it on me. So now he getting upset. I, the tears magically disappeared and your sniffles went away. Now he getting upset. And at this point, I'm not even sad no more. I'm getting mad because the audacity. Then I convinced myself that um, Herbert was dragging it about the cousin part. Like, yeah, you cheated on me and I'm not letting that go. But I'm like, he, he probably dragging it about the first cousin part, like. Just to put that little cherry on the pie and make sure that I break up with him or something. Come to find out, he was not. Cha. I tell him, I basically tell him like, listen, I don't want to be with you no more. And y'all, the thing is, it, it was late as hell in my house, right? So I can't even yell like I want to because I want to scream at the top of my lungs, but my aunt don't play that, okay? It was it was late. When my aunt shut the house down, it shut the house is shut down. It's quiet. You can hear a pin drop, a mouse pissing on cotton. It's quiet. Okay. So I'm having a whisper yell, like, you know what? I don't even want to be with you no more. That's nasty. And that's weird as fucking. I was just saying everything, like, but it's not giving the effect, you know? So I don't think he was taking it as serious as if it was like 1 p.m. and I'm outside yelling to the top of my lungs. So he wasn't feeling me, you know? He wasn't feeling me for real. So, um, he was still trying to deflect. So I hang up in his face again. He started blowing me up, blowing me up. This time, and I, I don't answer for a while, but I finally do answer again. I do not know why. Don't ask me why I kept answering this damn phone. I should have blocked him and been done, but this is not done. So, um, I answered. This time, the tears magically came back and the sniffles are here. The sniffles are back. So he's sniffling, crying, talking about, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I messed up. Same thing. I heard you said that already. So he was like, can you please talk to me, Tati? Just talk to me, begging me to talk to him. I'm not saying nothing. So he was like, talk to me. I'm like, what do you want me to say? That's it. Just talk. Just say anything. Anything. Just say anything. Please. Please talk to me. Please don't break up with me. All of a sudden, you, you didn't care. You've been acting funny style for I don't know how long. But now you care. Right. There was really nothing for me to say. I stayed on the phone, but I wasn't talking. And he was just like telling me all kinds of stuff. And then I could hear um, Bronco in the back. Just just like, man, what the fuck, man? Stop. 
Man, stop begging her, bro. Stop doing that shit, bro. You you acting like a simp, bro. Fast forward the next day, Herbert called me and he was like, yeah, I'm just checking on you. Are you okay? What happened yesterday? Did you ever say anything? And I'm like, fool, you know what happened. You know what happened. I'm like, yeah, I told him, I asked him and blah, blah, blah. He was like, did you tell him I told you? And I was like, yeah. Well, not really. I mean, I, I didn't literally, but I told him, yeah, because he guessed it. So so he was like, yeah, I just want you to know, like, you don't deserve that. And you're going to find a better dude and, and all this kind of stuff. Just like trying to spit the same game. I don't know what dudes be thinking when they do stuff like this. Like, I just literally got out of a relationship. So is your mindset like, yeah, I know this nigga just ruined your life, but let me have a shot. It's my turn. Let me let me pick up where he left off. No. Even if I did like him, was attracted to him, which no, I would not. I just can't get out of one and get right back into another. I need time to like breathe and take in what I just, like, I got to rest, child. <laughs> I know that sounds old as hell, but I got to rest. So yeah, anyway, fast forward a little bit of time. Um, After the breakup, y'all, a lot of things just started going downhill as far as like my home life. Not because of the breakup, just because of like the situation. You know, I'm a teenager thinking I can do what I want, stay out what I want. Like I was, I grew up in a really strict household. So I just, I didn't want to, I didn't want to abide by the rules no more. Like, damn, I'm, oh, you know what? And I had just turned 18. So, you know, I'm about to show my ass. I'm grown. Like everything was, I'm grown, 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 grown. Well, get your grown ass out. Get your grown ass out. You know how that go. So yeah, um, basically one day I pack all my stuff. No, not even pack no stuff, y'all. I think I packed like a little bit of a little bag, a little spin and night bag. Go to my friend Chelsea House, my friend at the time, Chelsea House, and never come back home. The only time I came back home was to um was to get the rest of my stuff because my aunt was like, Well, if you finna be staying over there, come get your shit. You know what I'm saying? And then at one point in time, she came to pick me up so I can put my Chase bank account in my own name because I think we was on the same account. So if I made a purchase, she could actually see what I was buying and stuff. And I ain't like that anyway. So yeah, she came and got me. And it really was feeling like she was closing the door on me. Like, you know, get your shit. I'm gonna put your Chase account in your name. Like, you don't have to call me for nothing else no more. Bye, stay your ass over here, you know? I was just like at a really low point and depressed. And then I was going through this breakup. Like, ugh, it was a lot. This breakup that I shouldn't have even been going through because how did the tables turn? How did I end up end up feeling like I loved him? Because at that point, I, I felt like I loved him and he just broke my heart. So looking back, it wasn't puppy. Uh, I mean, it wasn't love. Shit, it wasn't even puppy love. I was gonna say it was, but it wasn't. I was in a vulnerable state. Y'all already know how that go. Call me stupid, dumb, this, that, and everything else, okay? Because I started talking to Drew again. I started talking to Drew. We never were was intimate again because me, I feel like when you stick your thing in something else, I don't really want it no more. I mean, I know I took uh, my last ex back after he cheated, but it was something else after that time. Something else is, is oh God, I don't want to spill too much. Something else happened. And I was like, nah, that ain't mine. Like, it's, it's for the streets. It's for everybody. I don't want it no more. Please don't ever bring that thing around me ever again. Don't give me the eyes. Stop smacking my butt. Mm -mm. So yeah, <laughs> anyway, because I'm, I'm finna have a flashback, y'all. Anyway, let me just go ahead and end that here. That's pretty much that story. Um, I actually might tell part two over because I tried to keep part two PG-13 too because I was still like kind of cool with Chelsea. But I mean, I just told my story like it happened. She got mad and it is what it is. So yeah, I kind of downplayed part two too. So I might actually retell it. I'm not sure. Part two, honestly, is not even necessary for real. It kind of is actually. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> that's pretty much it for this video. If you like it, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't give it a thumbs up on your way in, make sure you thumbs it up on the way out. It really helps get my video pushed out there. So I would really appreciate it. Thank y'all so much. Um, what else? <laughs> Leave me a comment and make sure you hit that subscribe button. If it is hit, make sure your bell notifications are on so you can be notified every time I post. Okay. If you want to join a membership for the extra tea, the link is in the description three tiers read all three tiers um fully before you sign up sign up from a computer or a laptop or any something like that um what else y'all i'm having a wig sale i should have told y'all this in the beginning but if you made it to the end i'm having a wig sale link in the description i think i have at this time i think i have three wigs left y'all i don't know why y'all not messing with the headband wig the u part or the bob y'all that bob is bobbing okay that bob is bobbing that lace is 
y'all don't sleep on a bob and if you want to know how the wigs look y'all go watch the videos just like go to the pictures see what picture of the wig it is and then go to the video so yeah that's pretty much it y'all already know thank you so 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 much <laughs> Thank you so much for like just coming on this journey with me while I tell this little ghetto tales, child. This is actually really good therapy. I'm a talker, bitch. Okay. So the fact that I can talk and y'all can get a little less than a little education less than um what not to do, you know, help somebody, anything. That really that really makes me happy for real. No, for real, I do. So yeah. Anyway, I love y'all. Thank you so much. I'm gonna see y'all in my next video. Bye. Nah, that's the old me. I ain't toxic no more. Why not? Hmm, don't let me get emotional. Y'all don't like getting emotional. All right, thank you. Oh, Lord. P.S. Your fave and only moderator crying emoji. Just wanted to say that, yeah. Well, not anymore. <laughs> P.S. Number two, tell Nyla and Mr. Sean say, hey, hey, Mr. Sean. One thing about Nyla, she loves on Mr. Sean. If you want to, uh, if you want to group chat, you know, or the membership. Okay, no dum dum somewhere watching this built like a Chevy back. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> built like a Chevy hatchback. Cut it out. <laughs> PS number four, my friend, you are too much. I'm done. Uh, share it with your friend, your homegirl, your sister, brother, baby mama, your cousin, your first cousin. Share it, okay? He just had like a jealous spirit on him. Like he just he was kind of negative sometimes. I feel so dumb for even believing this. I really do. I don't, 17, I was big enough to know he was lying. I don't know. I really don't know. At that time, I had never gotten into like an altercation with the officer or, or police officer or nothing like that. Hmm? Yeah. You got duped. You got tricked, manipulated. Bitch, you got got, okay? He got you for your cat. <laughs> Not me going in on my younger self. Calm down. Calm down. She didn't know. She didn't know. Okay? Give her some, give her some slack. Give her a break. Oh, Lord. That one, bro. Okay, I never would have thought. It don't even matter, it's nasty. But Drew, he was the weirdest character I've met looking back.